Hi everyone, happy Sunday. Today I want to talk to you about an insect that is very common in springtime and it turns from a creepy crawly thing into a beautiful insect with wings. Do you know what I'm talking about? Butterflies! That's right. Um, today, I want to read this book called A Butterfly is Patient, and we're going to learn a little bit about butterflies today. All right, here we go. Uh, this book is called A Butterfly is Patient, and the authors are Deanna Hutz Aston and Sylvia Long. And, oh, that, <laughs> I thought that was a name, but that is actually the... Um, the name of this little bug right here is the Green Baron. Do you see it? So this book is very detailed and it's got lots of different species of caterpillars and species of butterflies. So as I'm reading, I'm going to hold it up and then you can pause the video so you can really get a good look at this book because it's got lots of detail in it. Here we go, let's get started. Okay, so this one is the front page, and it's got lots of different kinds of caterpillars. Oh my goodness. Isn't that so crazy? Which one's your favorite? I kind of like the fuzzy one in the middle, the green baron. But I also kind of like the one that looks like he's dancing up here. <laughs> Which one do you think is the scariest? I'm thinking the one at the bottom with the red spikes. <laughs> All right. All right, here's the beginning. How does it start? It begins as an egg beneath an umbrella of leaves, protected from rain hidden from creatures that might harm it until the caterpillar inside chews free from its egg case, tiny, wingless, hungry to grow. So a caterpillar comes from a what? An egg. A butterfly is creative. A caterpillar feeds on leaves eating so much that it must molt or shed its skin many times. Can you say that word? Molt. Molt. It's right here. M-O-L-T. Molt. And molt means to shed its skin, kind of like a snake. It can grow up to 30,000 times larger than it was when it took its first bite. All right, I'm gonna show you this page first and then I'll read the other page. Do you see the stages of the caterpillar? Going from tiny all the way up. Once a caterpillar has eaten all that it needs, it creates a protective covering called a chrysalis. Chrysalis. Curled inside the chrysalis, it is growing wings. Now it is time for metamorphosis, changing from one to another. So here's what this says, are you ready? First, and then 15 days later, and then 21 days later, and then 26 days later, that's about, a, oh look, 26 is there's the new pupa so it starts to form a chrysalis and in 40 days, a little more than a month, it emerges from the chrysalis into a butterfly. This is called the common buckeye. You might have seen that butterfly before. Cool, huh? Oh, look at this beautiful page. I just want you to look at it first before I read it. You could even pause it if you want to. It says a butterfly is helpful. If you hadn't noticed, all of these pages are talking about butterflies and describing them. 
So the first one is a butterfly is patient, coming out of the egg. Butterfly is creative with growing. Now it's butterfly is helpful. Let's find out how butterflies are helpful. Butterflies, like bees, help pollinate plants so that they can reproduce or make seeds. As a butterfly, oh, as a butterfly flits from flower to flower, sipping nectar, tiny grains of pollen cling to its body and then fall away onto other flowers. Seeds are only produced when pollen is transferred between flowers of the same species. This is called pollination. So as the butterflies are landing from flower to flower, the pollen that's on the flowers sticks to their wings and then when they land on that next flower, it creates flower babies, which are seeds. That's called pollination. Ooh, look at this. A butterfly is protective. What does protective mean, do you know? Like protecting, protective. Butterflies use their wings to protect themselves from predators, such as hungry birds, lizards, and other insects. Some butterflies have markings on their wings called eye spots. Scientists don't know what they're used for, perhaps to scare away predators or attract mates. Wings can help butterflies camouflage. Can you say that? Camouflage. Do you know what camouflage means? Camouflage means to blend in, right? Like a chameleon can change colors to camouflage. So can these butterflies. Look at, don't those look like wings? I mean leaves, <laughs> but they're wings, huh? They can hide themselves in their environment. One kind of butterfly, the peacock butterfly, makes a hissing sound by rubbing its wings together when it's alarmed. Kind of sounds like a snake, huh? Kind of like Ooh, look, a butterfly is poisonous. That's another big word. Can you say poisonous? Poisonous. These are poisonous butterflies. Do you know what poisonous means? It means that it's not good for you. It'll make you very sick. The warning colors of some butterflies' wings, yellows, reds, oranges, whites, and blacks, tell predators that they are poisonous or bad tasting. Monarchs and pipe vine swallowtails eat poisonous plants as caterpillars so that they become poisonous as adults. So they, when they're a caterpillar, they eat poisonous plants. And then when they become an adult, then if other creatures eat them, they are poisonous. That's brilliant. Birds and other insects have learned not to eat them. Do you recognize this one? That's a monarch butterfly, right? Yeah. A butterfly is spectacular. Spectacular means awesome, amazing, beautiful, crazy, um, oh, just spectacular. You can pause it and look at all the different names. What's your favorite butterfly? I like the blue one, I think. Or maybe this one down here by my finger. A butterfly is thirsty. Look at this one. Look at, what does it look like they're doing? Huh. To find flowers, butterflies smell the air with their antenna. They taste with their feet, but sip nectar, the sweet liquid produced by many flowers, with a proboscis or a tongue that coils and uncoils. So they taste with their feet. So when they walk, they can taste it. But they still drink the nectar with their proboscis tongue. 
They have tongues. Did you know butterflies had tongues? And that they tasted with their feet? Some butterflies get their nourishment or um, energy from rotting fruit or minerals. Often a, kale a kaleidoscope of butterflies gathers as a puddle club in a mud near a pond or a lake to drink water rich in salt and minerals. So all these butterflies right now are having a party and they're drinking the mud. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Those thirsty butterflies. A butterfly is big. Oh, look how big this butterfly is. The rare Queen Alexandra's bird wing is the largest butterfly in the world with wings that can span up to one foot. It lives in the rainforest near Papua New Guinea, which is right here. Do you see on the earth right here? There's us right here in California, and there's Papua New Guinea. So this is the Queen Alexandra bird wing, and I believe this is actual size. So look at my head and look at this butterfly. It's like bigger than my head. Wow. Now a butterfly is big or tiny. Look at this tiny butterfly. Oh my goodness. Actual size. The smallest is, is the rarely seen Aryan small blue found in Afghanistan with a wingspan of less than one third of an inch, about the length of a grain of rice. So if you're ever eating rice, think about one of them that is the tiniest butterfly in the world. A butterfly is scaly. Ooh, scaly. The colors, patterns, and shapes of a butterfly's wings have a purpose. Some of their pattern of colors to attract mates. In places where the climate is cool, dark scales absorb heat from the sun, warming the butterfly's flight muscles. Butterflies are cold-blooded and must have a body temperature of 86 degrees to fly. A rainbow of shiny, powdery scales cover the wings of a butterfly. Scales stacked like shingles on a roof. Without scales, its wings would be as transparent as the wings of a bee or a dragonfly. Have you seen that before? Next time you get, if you see a butterfly, try to look at it close up. See if it looks like that and say scaly. A butterfly is not a moth. Butterflies and moths belong to the same family of insects. Lep, oh gosh, Lepidoptera. <laughs> it looks like this. Which means scale wing. They are the only insects with scaly wings, but there are differences between them. Moths appeared on Earth between 100 and 190 million years ago. Butterflies, 40 million years ago during the crustaceous period, when flowering plants and the nectar most butterflies need to survive evolved. So moths were here a long time before even plants were, and then when plants started, then that's when the butterflies started. <clears throat> Nearly every kind of butterfly flies during the day while most moths fly at night. A moth spins a cocoon made of silk while a butterfly wraps itself in a chrysalis or exoskeleton made from its skin. You can pause it to read that again because that is very dense. But the, basically, they're not the same. I can't believe all the differences between moths and butterflies, did you know? A butterfly is a traveler. Most butterflies, such as the red admiral of the common buckeye, migrate a short distance, a short distance to find a warmer place. But some, like the monarch, travel far. Although monarchs weigh only as much as a few rose petals, they can fly almost 3,000 miles from Canada to their winter home in Mexico, 
at a rate of 20 miles per hour. Glider pilots have reported seeing monarchs flying at an altitude of 11,000 feet, higher than some clouds. Monarch butterflies and other butterflies are my, they travel. If you're like me and you live in California, have you seen monarchs? A butterfly is magical. Monarchs gather in huge numbers in the forests in central Mexico waiting for spring. Then they fly north to the milkweed plants in North America where they lay their eggs. Now it's time again for their metamorphosis. So then butterflies migrate and lay eggs, which was the beginning of the book, right? Remember? A butterfly is patient. The egg hatches, the caterpillar emerges, feasting on leaves before it wraps itself into its warm protective chrysalis, patiently waiting. To soar. Soar means to fly. And here's our last page. I'll let you pause it so you can see. I'll move the light a little bit for all the different butterflies. Oh. I hope you enjoyed A Butterfly is Patient and that you learned a little something about butterflies. Have a great day.